Modern ambulances are loaded with the latest technology. It supports the treatment of patients and the work of paramedics. At the Wiedmarsche Ambulanz und Sonderfahrzeug GmbH, Andreas Plöger and Sebastian Hendriksen tell us more about the systems that simplify the work on board. Die Kunst, gute Assistenzsysteme zu bauen. The art of building great assist systems is to ensure that technicians continue their work as they always have, and to do so in the background, if you will. Im Hintergrund arbeitet. There are increased requirements for more protection, improved ergonomics and more safety for paramedics, which is why systems that support these professionals are becoming increasingly important. Täter unterstützen, geraten immer mehr in den Fokus. These types of assist systems help paramedics with time-consuming tasks and make their heavy physical work easier. Wir wollen mit den Systemen our systems are designed to make it easier to work inside the vehicle. With the RFID smart check system, each component, obviously not every single rubber glove, but supplies and consumables, is tagged with a small passive chip. Antennas and receivers then detect whether an item is or isn't on board. If I prepare the ambulance for a shift or service, I don't have to manually check every drawer to see if all the items are there, but I just press the button and confirm that everything is on board. The SandSafe system is an additional disinfection system that we offer. It's based on H202. After an ambulance transport, I close the doors and press a button, which triggers the disinfection cycle. The ambulance is fully disinfected within 30 to 40 minutes. Zyklus und nach ungefähr 30 bis 40 Minuten ist das Fahrzeug komplett desinfiziert. Das Multiload Assist The Multiload Assist system features a self-loading mechanism. It takes a lot of physical strength given that the average patient is considered to weigh 75 kilos, but patients are typically heavier and then you add the weight of the stretcher and hoist all of it into the vehicle and onto the platform. The multi-load is an electrical system that supports this loading process. The multi-load is an electrical system that this entry supports. We also have the WAS door assist system, which helps in closing and opening the doors. Now, paramedics no longer have to use full force to close the doors, which used to add to the wear and tear of the doors and locking mechanism. It also significantly reduces the noise level and thus relieves the stress level of the patient inside the ambulance. Wesentlich reduziert wird, somit der Stressfaktor für den Patienten im Fahrzeug reduziert wird. Ambulances will continue to undergo changes in the future, adapt to new settings and affect the work of paramedics. Die Fahrzeuge the vehicles adapt to the respective emergency guidelines or concepts. There will be data transfers to prepare the hospital for the patient's arrival. There will certainly also be more electronic equipment inside the vehicle and more monitoring of patient data and vital signs that might be displayed in a central location or transferred simultaneously. We can already see the advent of tele-emergency physicians who are connected via camera systems, perhaps sometimes eliminating the need for an emergency physician to travel to actual locations. We sell vehicles to other countries where the physician does not leave the hospital. The ambulance must be ready for these types of settings, of course. Right now we're in a phase where more and more medical equipment needs to be on board. We are slowly reaching the limits of vehicle capacity in terms of weight. If we view this from an electromobility perspective, the main emphasis becomes to reduce weight again. This means we are once again at a crossroads where we must determine what we can remove from the ambulance while still rendering the necessary services. We are subject to a bit of back and forth in this area.